Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump campaign spies past exposed. Work to flip past president election to a CIA spook. The political scandal of the decade is brewing in Washington D.C., and it may leave President Donald Trump in a very different position than his enemies wish, not destroyed, but largely vindicated. Details have finally started to emerge about an establishment-led effort to plant a mole within the Trump campaign, and evidence is beginning to mount that its goal was to undermine and derail his run for office. The facts are suggesting something chillingly sinister. A government operative directed by the Obama-run FBI purposely infiltrated the campaign of a candidate with the training and background needed to destabilize elections. In a detailed piece published by The Intercept, investigative journalist Glenn Greenwald summarized the scandal and gave a blow-by-blow -blow account of how it's beginning to unravel. Over the past several weeks, House Republicans have been claiming that the FBI, during the 2016 election, used an operative to spy on the Trump campaign, and they triggered outrage within the FBI by trying to learn his identity," he explained. The controversy escalated when President Trump joined the fray on Friday morning. Reports are there was indeed at least one FBI representative implanted, for political purposes, into my campaign for president, Trump tweeted. Amazingly, FBI and Department of Justice sources did not deny this claim. It's worth remembering that while the media and DOJ insiders were laughing and dismissing Trump's accusations a year ago, especially regarding wiretapping in the Steele dossier, he has been proven right on almost every point. Nobody is laughing now. Instead, they're scrambling to cover their tracks. On May 8, The Washington Post described the informant as a top-secret intelligence source and cited DOJ officials as arguing that disclosure of his name could risk lives by potentially exposing the source, a U.S. citizen who has provided intelligence to the CIA and FBI, Greenwald reported. That was almost certainly a last-ditch effort to protect the mole and save face. Then came the threats. The top Democrat on the Senate Intelligence Committee, Mark Warner, actually threatened his own colleagues in Congress with criminal prosecution if they tried to obtain the identity of the informant, Greenwald reported. Journalists, including Greenwald and veteran gumshoes at several major media outlets, didn't stop. After a few rounds of newspaper one-upmanship, the mole's name has been revealed. As a result of some very odd choices by the nation's largest media outlets, everyone knows the name of the FBI's informant, Stephen Halper, Greenwald wrote. Here's the truly important and shocking part, Halper is no run-of-the-mill FBI operative. He has a history of being involved in shady CIA operations to infiltrate and derail U.S. elections. To begin with, it's obviously notable that the person the FBI used to monitor the Trump campaign is the same person who worked as a CIA operative running that 1980 presidential election spying campaign, Grenell wrote. Yes, it was Halper, a former Nixon insider and the same man at the center of the anti-Trump scandal today. Nearly 40 years ago, a largely buried scandal was playing out in Washington. It involved some famous Republicans, including old names that even today are firmly in the never-Trump camp. Halper was responsible for a long-forgotten spying scandal involving the 1980 election, in which the Reagan campaign, using CIA officials managed by Halper, reportedly under the direction of former CIA director and then vice presidential candidate George H.W. Bush got caught running a spying operation from inside the Carter administration, The Intercept explained. In other words, there may be a structure within the foreign policy and intelligence communities that goes back to at least the time when George H. W. Bush ran the CIA. That behind-the-scenes power structure, deep state, to borrow the term, was on the side of Hillary Clinton and believed that Trump needed to be stopped at any cost. One look at the now public text messages from FBI officials in the weeks and months leading up to the 2016 election definitely seems to support this. And it's worth pointing out that the now 93-year-old George H. W. Bush admitted to supporting Hillary Clinton. By any measure, the Bush dynasty has not been friendly to Trump. Whatever else is true, the CIA operative and FBI informant used to gather information on the Trump campaign in the 2016 campaign has, for weeks been falsely depicted as a sensitive intelligence asset rather than what he actually is, a longtime CIA operative with extensive links to the Bush family who was responsible for a dirty and likely illegal spying operation in the 1980 presidential election, explained Greenwald. For that reason, it's easy to understand why many people in Washington were so desperate to conceal his identity, but that desperation had nothing to do with the lofty and noble concerns for national security they claimed were motivating them, he added. Deep operatives. Election interference. 
hacked moles and spies deployed against a candidate by our own government agencies. It's a chilling picture, but one that all of the evidence so far supports. There's a power struggle of shadows within the swamp in Washington, and it is at odds with the American people and their sovereign voice. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.